So now if we try to understand what exactly is this attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, there are three types in it. So one is the ADHD predominantly inattentive type, hyperactive type and the combined type. So children can present in any of these ways and it should be starting at an early age, less than 12 years onwards and in the early childhood period, we should be seeing these features. So when we talk about hyperactivity, the child is unable to sit in one place, has a lot of energy, is continuously running, jumping. Teachers often complain that the child is not sitting in class and disturbing other children. Like as if in Telugu we say kaliki chakra lunnattu is something we use that the child is moving around a lot. When we talk about impulsivity, that means that the child is unable to control themselves. That is, they may blurt out answers even before the question is completed or they may interrupt conversations. They cannot wait for their turn. And when it comes to inattention, the child is not able to sit and continuously focus. The child is distracted easily by small sounds or keeps getting up with some excuses. And the child loses interest easily from one task to another, they keep shifting. Or the child uh, does not remember where they left their things. They may lose uh, objects or like pencils, pens in the class, etc. They appear not to pay attention or they may daydream a lot. These are some of the features, but the criteria is that it should cause impairment in the everyday functioning of the child. In milder conditions, the child may not show difficulties till later on in school years because they may be able to cope up in the initial periods even if they have some attention issues. So it may be diagnosed a little late. 